All right, guys, I just watched an interview with David Muir of ABC World News Tonight and former Vice President Mike Pence. Uh, it was about an eight to ten minute interview. It was only a snippet of a full interview. On the January 6th riots at the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. on January 6, 2021, now, David Muir sat down with Mike Pence and it was, like I said, it was about the eight to ten minute interview. There's supposed to be a whole interview on 2020. They said it was tonight, but I don't. I couldn't find it on any local stations here. But it's also supposed to stream on Hulu. Uh, no, not Hula Hoop. Hulu. If you have Hulu streaming, you can watch the, apparently the whole interview. I don't know if it's going to stream tonight on Hulu or next couple of days they're going to have it streaming. But again, David Muir sat down with Mike Pence. And I'm going to give you some excerpts from that interview that I watched tonight. And some of the things that David Muir is saying Trump said about Mike Pence and some of the responses Mike Pence had to those uh, those allegations or those statements or those claims. Um, I, in my humble opinion, believe that Mike Pence is a pretty good American. I, in my humble opinion, Mike Pence is a pretty squared away um, American as far as you know, the Bill of Rights and free speech and all of that. Uh, I mean, I don't know everything about him. I'm, I'm just not very good at politics. I don't like, I don't really get mixed into politics. It, my feet go to sleep. But um, from what I've seen of Mike Pence, he's pretty pro-free speech and he's pretty pro-American. How does he feel about Donald Trump? Look here. So they're saying that Trump tweeted about Mike Pence. Now, as David Muir was talking to Mike, he said shortly after 11 a.m. on January 6, 2021, Trump calls Biden and becomes highly irate, uh, irate and upset about the voting. You know, we know what happened there. They go, oh, the vote count, they're cheating and you know all that, right? And apparently, per what David Muir was saying, it was noted that Trump said Mike Pence will go down as a wimp. Trump tells Pence he made a mistake choosing Mike Pence five years ago and says, um, oh, and Pence calls Trump's rally words reckless. He says his tweets and his words about the Capitol were reckless. Um, but Pence watched the breach as they started to breach and they knocked over the gates and they started in towards the Capitol building. Mike Pence with his brother, his wife, and his daughter watched it on a small television in a small office in the Capitol building. They had left where they were at and went into a small office. They were watching it on a television there. And uh, he says he was in Infuriated. Mike Pence says, I was infuriated. He says he wasn't really afraid. He said, I didn't have that much fear. More so, I was mad that this was you know, going on, that these people were coming into the Capitol building and that President Trump was encouraging them, so to speak, not in so many words, but Pence having now exited... Do you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that just now? That's what happens when you have somebody with an Xbox... In, in the house. Ah, come on, show them. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Mike Pence, now having exited the Capitol building, was at the motorcade at the back do loading dock. He says that they got him into a car. He had, didn't allow them to close the doors yet. And he was telling them, look, I'm not leaving. They said, we're not leaving. Just get in the car so we can close it and you'll be safe. Mike Pence says he was afraid that if he got in there and allowed them to close the doors on him, that somebody in the Secret Service would give the order to the driver, go, get the vice president out of here. So he wouldn't allow them to close the car door. He said, no, I'm not leaving. You understand, I'm staying here. Why? Because he said he didn't want to give the rioters satisfaction of seeing him flee. In other words, he was like, you ain't running me off. I'm, st I'm still here. Vice President's still here. That's basically, I kind of look like Mike Pence, don't I? Maybe not. 
but he didn't want to give them the satisfaction of seeing him run. That's right. Like he, he's a true American. These colors don't run. Then David Muir says that about 2.24 p.m., Trump tweets, Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what is right or to do the right thing or to do what needed to be done. In other words, Trump is saying Mike Pence is like, he's not changing the vote to so that Trump wins. He's going with, you know, Biden was elected president and and Trump is saying, well, Pence allowed that. He could have overturned, he could have did this and this and this and this. But remember, Mike Pence believes in the American political system. And he believes that, look, we had an election, Biden won, what are you gonna do? Um, now, as this was going on and he was saying, well, Pence didn't have the courage, you can hear rioters shouting outside, hang Mike Pence, hang Mike Pence, hang Mike Pence. And they were looking to do this guy in the Vice President of the United States, American people. They've breached the American Capitol building, the United States Capitol. They've breached it. Per Mike Pence, he did not hear from Donald Trump nor anyone from the White House during the day of the riots. During that time and all that was going on, Mike Pence says, I did not hear from Donald Trump nor the White House. Or, or the White House, right? They didn't even call him to go, hey, Mike, you, you okay, bud? The president didn't even try to reach out to the vice president and go, you okay? What's going on there? You're safe, right? No, he's like, that wimp. Come on, buddy, we're losing here. Let's cheat. I'm sorry, but... It's politics, not the New England Patriots, okay? No deflated balls here. So Pence said, as, the far, as far as the POTUS campaign, now David Muir started asking him, are you gonna run for president in 2024? Mike was kinda like, you know, if it happens, I'll pray about it. Me and my wife are gonna pray about it. Our family is gonna pray and see what we wanna do. Um, he said, but are you going to run? Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. If the American people want me, you know, then we'll see. Kind of wasn't saying yes or no. That's a very smart thing. But Mike Pence, when they brought up, uh, or when David Muir brought up Donald Trump saying he's going to run in 2024, Mike Pence, in not so many words, said, you know, there are better choices for POTUS. There are better choices. So he said, Donald Trump ain't the best choice for 2024. I think that the only way Donald Trump will get into the White House in 2024 or 2025, which is January after the election, is to do a de criminal deposition in a federal case. That's the only way I think Donald Trump's getting in the White House in 2025, January 2025, is to do a deposition. I don't know. I Look, guys, if you're upset with me by saying that, let's talk about it in the comments section. Don't get all upset and start throwing things across the house and going, oh, my God, dude, how can you say that? Maga, maga, maga. That's what the people are going to say, right? They always, I get people that, I always get at least three people that, that say that. Maga, by the way, is make America great again. I think the only, one of the only ways we're going to make America great again is to reestablish a faith in God, a faith in prayer, a faith in the scriptures. That's kind of really the only way we're going to make America great again, is go back to when, you know, our forefathers believed in kneeling in the snow, George Washington there praying to God for strength as he began to go into battle. That's the only way we're going to make America great again. But I leave it up to you to tell me your opinion in the comment section below. I'm open-minded and I want to hear from all of you.